friends. For some of you who might be newer to shopping vintage and resale, in this video, I thought I would pass along some of the tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help you spot vintage out in the wild. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. I am by no means a professional reseller or vintage shopper, if you will. I just love it. I'm a regular person and I've been doing it for the last 30 years or so. First, let's talk about what is considered vintage. Antique is considered anything over 100 years old but vintage is anything over 20 years old. So think of that for a minute. That means that something from the early 2000s is now considered vintage. Most of my pieces are from the 60s, 70s, or 80s. That's what I gravitate toward. And everything that I'm gonna show you in this video, I thrifted for probably under $25, or I got free from going through a relative's closet. The quickest, easiest way is to look at the label or the tag in the garment. This is a gorgeous vintage dress that I bought. You can see here, the label looks different. They're sewn in, they're nice, and they're usually from some sort of a boutique or something like that. I'm just gonna show you a few other examples. This really pretty dress that I bought. I could tell right away the label, made in Australia. Here's another one. This beauty from the 1980s. This gorgeous sweater. Here's another sweater too. The next way is just the construction of the garments. Things were just made better then. It wasn't fast fashion. There was a lot more sort of handiwork done, attention to detail. The materials were nice. The way that the things were sewn, you can just feel the fabrics, see the way that they're made. They're not shoddy at all. They're made to endure. You'll find wools and silks and things like that. Sometimes a garment may not have a label. To look at those carefully too, because sometimes they might be hand sewn. Check out this really cool coat that I have. It's hard to tell, but it's this really beautiful coat in a Kelly green no label but it was so beautifully made and i could tell by the shape of it that this was really old another thing is just the details things like buttons so check out this cool button it's nicely lined in the fabric it's metal in the back also things like zippers now most of the things will have metal zippers if they're a bit older I can't show you an example of that because I switch all of my zippers out. For example, this dress here did have a metal zipper and I switched it out for plastic, which I like a lot better. So just know that you can switch those out. Don't forget accessories. Now look at this amazing belt that used to be my husband's aunt's. You can just tell again there's no label, but look, you can tell the leather and the way that this is made and sewn both inside and out. The insides are sometimes just as beautiful as the outsides for these things. They're just constructed so well. They're gonna last the duration and just such a treat. Here's another example of a button. This is a leather button with some metal in the back. This is a sweater that used to be my husband's grandmother's. It is from Ireland. The tag in here tells you that this baby was hand knitted and this is very old. I ended up having the sleeves taken off of it because they were too short for me, but you can just tell, I mean, it's just, they're just not made like this anymore. Where a garment is made is also super important. You're really not gonna find most things that are vintage made in China. And I mean, not that there's anything wrong, but most of the current things are made in China, places like that. The pieces that I'm showing you here, like this gorgeous, Silk piece is from France. This super cool dress was made in Australia. And the rest of these pieces were all made in the US. This one here is made in England. This was made in Scotland for Filene's. And again, just the craftsmanship in here is so nicely done. 
Speaking of craftsmanship, this Shaheen piece is hand-painted fabric, and I was super lucky because this one is even signed here by him. If you look closely enough and start looking for these details, you can just tell. You also have the internet at your fingertips now when you're out shopping, so you can research some of these labels. That's what I did when I spotted this little guy out in the wild. I had really never seen a garment made in Australia before, and this tag looked so different. So I quickly got on and looked it up, and this was a designer from the 60s and 70s, one of the most famous Australian designers. So I knew that this was a real find at like $25. So in addition to shopping and finding vintage things, you can find some really cool things if you're going through some of your older relatives' closets. I showed you a couple pieces already. I was also recently going through my dad's things, and he had this really cool sweater Again, I could tell by the tag that it was very old. It was made in England, and it is also 100% pure wool. It was in great shape. It fit me, so I snagged this guy, and every time I wear it, it does make me think of my dad. You can also find footwear. Now, for me, I have a pretty big size shoe, and a lot of the vintage shoes were made smaller, but I do look in the men's section, so check out these amazing cowboy boots that I found. Again, this is embroidered with metal, like metal thread. These are 100% leather with the sort of painted embroidered all leather inside and the original bottoms here which i had done and i researched this label too is they're no longer in existence and so i knew these were probably vintage and i just love these i i wear them whenever i get a chance all right so just a couple of the things that i look for as a non-professional just person who loves vintage i would love to know any other tips you might have. Also, I hope this inspires you. If you're new to just go out and start looking, you'll get so much better at it and have a lot of fun. Please leave your comments below. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, have some fun and dress it up a little.